I mean, every language is an expression, is a vehicle for some kind of cultural expression. But the thing that just about Yiddish is that it's such a vehicle for so many cultural expressions or multicultural expressions that I personally find very fascinating. So multicultural identity in Europe, multicultural identity in the United States. I think that by, you know, to understand Yiddish is to understand Ashkenazic Jewry, to understand Ashkenazic Jewry is to understand a slice of American life and a slice of European life and culture and history. And for me, it's just, it's a fascinating piece of a really neat mosaic. Basically, every Yiddish speaker, probably forever, has been multilingual. There's no such thing as like a monolingual Yiddish speaker, effectively. Because everywhere Yiddish speakers have lived, in the same way that everywhere that Pennsylvania Dutch speakers have lived, is in a multilingual environment. You have to speak at least one other language, say in the American context, English, to be able to function in the wider society. Or if you're in Buenos Aires, Argentina, you're speaking Yiddish and Spanish, or Mexico City. Or if you're in Israel, you're speaking enough you know, English also to be able to use there, but also obviously Hebrew. And then the whole sort of Hebrew-Yiddish kind of mix is a fascinating one. I've taught myself enough Hebrew to be able to make sense of, you know, be able to kind of rough reading knowledge of things. But a lot of my, my first exposure to Hebrew obviously was through Yiddish, was Lush and Koidish. And then kind of understanding sort of how Hebrew, as Ashkenazic Hebrew, is kind of morphed into the Lush and Koidish component of Yiddish is also a fascinating topic for me.